so well to you. Just one second. Mrs. Miles? Yes, that's me. I'm Officer Williams. It's Officer Cash. We've got some, uh, some bad news. Oh, please, come on in. Uh, would you like some tea or coffee? That's quite all right. Uh, we'll, we'll be quick.
Oberon! Yes, James? Have you heard the news of the runaway train? Ah, that I have. <laughs> Last I heard, it made landfall in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh! <laughs> yes, our plan is going just... James! Oberon, focus! Yes. Very well, Magnolia, we all know why we are here. That's right. I hope you are prepared, for we are very prepared. Oh, I am prepared indeed. I'm more prepared than you two will ever be, if not more so. Ah! 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 You've told a blind line, Magnolia. One you have told it far too long. There are repercussions to the decision you are about to make. Repercussions which are yours to bear. So you say, James, so you say. And yet you have made similar decisions in the past and have felt the very same scorns of those self-same decisions. You two squabble like children. Do you not appreciate the gravity of the situation? Of course. We gathered here today for a reason. Yes, yes. We have danced this ballet of words long enough. <laughs> we all know why we're here. OK, let's see. Southwestern egg rolls? Me. Oh, <laughs> and the Southwestern egg rolls? I. OK. <laughs> hey, you have a good one now. Southwestern egg rolls? Me as well. Mm. OK. <laughs> And, oh, the Southwestern Egg Rolls. Me, me. <laughs> the train! <laughs> that I can ask fudge any of your qualms. <laughs> um, it's, it's just that uh, I kind of have to use the bathroom. Um, oh, but... hell no! Megalana Gecko, I called him. I said, I said, keep your shit in your shit ass. Stay in the chair. <laughs> Been around the block twice. No guff. Nobody got in. It's, I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's just that I don't think it's a good idea for me to have a full intestine while you're operating on my prostate. No, I think <laughs> everybody here just needs to take a nice and deep breath. I said take a deep breath! Ooh. Now, Mr. Beaver, I'm sorry, but as your attending physician, I have to agree with Nurse Rhonda here. Well, how? I, I don't understand. I have full bowels. Well, Mr. Beaver, you are so concerned with your full tummy. It's bowels, man. Right. But Isabel, 
why don't you just turn around and we can have a look see at the situation down there? I, I, I don't think that's very necessary. I, I mean, I could just use the bathroom that's, that's five feet away, or there's got to be like a chamber pot. Oh, Mr. Fever! <laughs> Medical marijuana isn't even legal in this. <laughs> And regardless, I failed to say I was having a poopy situation. <laughs> well, look, I... <laughs> Do you see this? I'm your doctor. <laughs> Can you read this right here? Just read it. Doctor. Out loud! I was, I was reading a Dr. Lionel Dr. Dr. Lionel Gekel, MD. Very, very good. Now, do you know what that MD stands for? Sure, it stands for medical. Mega doctor! <laughs> I'm a mega doctor, Mr. Viva. And therefore, it is my medical opinion that listening to me right now was a very good idea. Never messed up. Never there. Absolutely no mess ups. Never, ever. Right. So, let's turn you around and have a look-see inside your anus. I just don't uh, know. I will hold him down. Very good, real legit nurse wrong. You, you know what? You, you know what? Fine. Prep me for surgery. I, I, I don't care. There's, there's someone who cares about me out there, and, and that's all that matters anyways. Do, do whatever. You're the doctor. Make a doctor. Fine. We'll do what do whatever. Very well spoken, Mr. Beaver. Very well said. You know, you've inspired me. I will perform this surgery. Please, lay down. No stronger. That's Sharpie. Now, Mr. Beaver, just calm down and relax. We'll have you under anesthesia in no time. <laughs> what, 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 what are you writing? What, what, what? Now, to be perfectly clear, we are not amputating this hand. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is my hand, not my pocket. Someone bought it after Stephanie shit in the lab. Is he with you? 
<laughs> I thought he worked here. No. No? Okay, well, I'm just going to go in the back and see if I can find him. Okay. Stephanie could have sold that very bottle of banana herself. She is very forgetful. And not that right. I'm sorry, what? father of the last mayor daily. It wasn't my first or last marathon, but it was great, beautiful, and the course was fast. In those days, there were no Ethiopians running races in the U.S. <laughs> Love, Mom. <laughs> Dear Peter, and this one came with like an Amazon receipt. Cute birthday present for Natalia. This next one is called Disregard the Last Email. Natalia, 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 I am brain dead. I don't know why I continue to refer to the lovely Natalia as Madeline. It's the wine. I am sorry. <laughs> I didn't intentionally try to offend you. I love you and Natalia, Adam, Matt, Patrick, Davio, Haley, Will, Eric, Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Moe. <laughs> love, Mom. This next email is called Cool Pictures from Uncle Cliff. And it has two pictures of my Uncle Cliff with the carcass of a bear he's killed. <laughs> This episode of Seinfeld, Kramer, <laughs> Kramer buys a meat slicer just like Dad. Figure, see if you can figure out how to watch it. Didn't include a linker. <laughs> this email is titled, Warning, Only Read If You Like Puns. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and the only contents of, of the email are, how does Moses make his tea? He brews it. <laughs> Dear Peter, would it be okay for us to send Jasper a happy birthday popcorn tin from the popcorn factory? How do you spell his last name? If that would not be cool, please let us know. We don't want to draw unwanted attention to either of you. <laughs> this, this last one is from my dad, and it's titled, Considering the Family Plan. <laughs> Hi, kids, colon. This is to let you know that your mother and I visited the Verizon Wireless store in Scarsdale today. And we changed our family plan. Everyone has 
everyone now has unlimited transmission of pictures by wireless phone. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Oh my God. You were too busy getting torqued at full mass, oh clipping your digital out at a white 
kids and your slang for the bajingo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to. It's pretty hard to get uh, anything done with these two animals around, you know. Ha! 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 I bet it is. I bet these two are the real talk of the town, the real jock squad around campus. I bet Scott's leading all crusades, legal or otherwise. Uh, I mean, yeah. I guess that's why he's the boss. Hard to believe he's in charge of anything, though, with an ugly mug like that. <laughs> I'm dead inside that. Scott in his Adonis! <laughs> Amongst real Athenian mortals! Hey, beautiful women are throwing themselves at him, left and right! I bet he would make beautiful kids. Okay, okay Josh, you have to put the foot down right there. There are no women throwing themselves at Scott. We're actually engaged, as I'm sure you remember. And 
Look, I'm real sorry about that. I guess I snatched up the last good one, didn't I? See? Look at how he defends my honor. Like a conquistador on the shores of my dignity. Scott pillages the women and plunders the gold, all so I can carry on his beautiful legacy. Josh, can I talk to you outside for a minute? Gladly. Son of mine, taking the easy way out of anything. <laughs> now your dad died. He's dead. He's a dead dad. <laughs> and your new dad is standing right here, right now, telling you that you gotta man up and make it on your own in the world. Do you hear me, Josh? You know, Scott. Dad. <laughs> Now, I can't stay here with you forever. <laughs> You're going to have to go on out into the world and make it on your own. Make me proud, son. out. Enjoy your stack of flapjacks. Is it going to lead us to a 14th century lost Viking ship? But it all makes too much sense, Danny. Well, think about it. Stack comes from the Swedish word stock, as in Stockholm, which means treasure. <laughs> and, and, and why would the International House of Pancakes call pancakes flapjacks if the lost treasure wasn't in the ancient Viking ship Flapplejackal, which is where we are now? It, it doesn't make any sense. Regardless of the sense it makes, there ain't no treasure. 
And my boys don't like being lied to by a smarty pants know-it-all like yourself, Thomas Jefferson Airplane. Play! <laughs> Play! Oh no, why'd you let them keep their AK-47s? <laughs> why would they need guns for an exploratory mission? <laughs> because I believe the Founding Fathers had us all in mind when they set their quills to parchment, writing an indelible ink, and gave us the right to bear arms. <laughs> Who are we to question the freedom they prescribed for us, Danny? Cut the chatter talk, boys. There ain't any treasure here. And if we don't leave here without any treasure, we don't leave here without you two. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, IHOP was founded in the early 1600s by Johan, <laughs> by Johan Van Pancake and his sister Greta. They amassed one of the largest fortunes in human history by the time they died. And, and, and they didn't leave any heirs, so, so they had to leave their treasures on a ship bound for the New World in hopes that it would patronize a society that would reanimate their corpses and worship them as gods. <laughs> but the ship never left Sweden. And we're supposedly the first people who have found it. Then where's the goddamn treasure? W wait, wait, wait. Um, the, 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 the lamb pancakes were Quakers, and Swedish Quakers at that. So they had to keep their religious beliefs under wraps for fear of persecution. Um, but what Swedish Quakers prized most was, was their spleen, and, and that must have biodegraded long ago. Then it looks like you're going to biodegrade with them. Blade! Um, I'm pretty sure you just hinted that we could do something, but I'm uh, not precisely sure. Do I have to spell uh, everything out for you? Kill him! Oh, oh uh, now, Daddy! Uh, uh, you better make this ship your home, airplane, for it will be your last. <laughs> Shit and fuck! <laughs> Daddy! We're trapped in here. No, I'm never gonna lose my virginity. And now's not the time! <laughs> Now's not the time for your moral chitter chatter, Jenny. Just let me think. Uh, uh, well, the Van Pancakes, they were Quakers, right? But, but not very devout. The belief they held most dear was the ability to order pancakes at any time of the day. <laughs> the ability to order eggs from the side of sausage. The ability to order a more perfect unit. <laughs> Establish justice for true metric tranquility. Provide for the common defense. Blessings of liberty to ourselves. Do <laughs> ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States. Daddy, the light of our freedom, give me your light. Give me. <laughs> Excelsior. <laughs> Of your new bit. 
<laughs> take a test drive. You take any <laughs> Writing Skewter is like riding the veins of a Scandinavian fire dragon. <laughs> it is stylish with a great grip. Writing Skewter is like doing a handstand in the shower in the morning. I'm superb and I'm superb to brush it to your head at the same time. Hang 
out and like get to know each other chi wise. Right? I'm so, I'm so glad you said okay. so. I feel <laughs> The telemetry is complete! Soon the heavens will be torn asunder by a mighty ball of fire! <laughs> How did you get out of the tower? <laughs> <laughs> the readings! The telemetry, the calculations, our life's work! Wait, hold on. What is going on? What is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> How does he wear clothes? I mean, he called you master. Does he? Uh, Dylan, I can't. This is, <laughs> take my tea. What's <laughs> up, bro? How's it going, Bobble? Oh, good day, Master Mr. Rex. Dude, dude, for like the thousandth time, Colin is fine. <laughs> Hey man. Hey, where'd that fine ass go? <laughs> uh, who? You know, yoga chair, fine ass. Where'd you go? What do you think happened? Paula oh. came in with the latest telemetry results and she oh. ran off scared. She's <laughs> <laughs> escaped from the tower. Master refuses to chain me as I have told him to nine and twenty times! <laughs> Accept you out here. You have to stay in the crystalline tower. But, but the readings! I've been perched upon the striding glass for, for nine, for near a fortnight. I have occurred many tables and charts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you might want to think about getting a new assistant. <laughs> Or at least tell him to not come around the shop anymore. He's scaring away customers, man. But Bubbles my best friend. Come on. I, I know, dude. I, listen, okay. I know we've been bros since like sophomore year, okay? I fucking love Bob's. Bob's is my man. My manager is really on my back. You, I, you know I love Bob's. I mean, remember that time we went to that frat party and he brought that brimstone flask, huh? <laughs> Yeah, we could never go back to that fret again, Bobble. <laughs> Besides, Samantha was just a crush. When I failed to see what compression has to do with it, I was protecting my mouth! <laughs> <mother. laughs> Sorry, dudes. You, you gotta go. You gotta go. Okay, come on, Bobble. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As you can see, this divining rod is leading me to the key line nexus. And from there, we can begin the crafting and the smelting. Right, yeah, we could, yeah. Master, <laughs> your mind is not upon the summoning. This much is evidence. What ponderous load belabors your troubled mind? Uh, no, um, yeah. Where does the nexus lie? Ah! Well, <laughs> the nexus lies under the gastronomica by the moniker James Jonathan's. <laughs> James? Jimmy Johns? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> No, 
You don't want your pro bass fishing boyfriend to meet my best friend. <laughs> you know what? No. Don't Bobby, you dare. Bobby, come here. There's and, someone uh, you want Hey, what's up, slugger? <laughs> Bobby, this is Bobble. I want you to meet my friend. <laughs> oh, please, oh. Don't you fat silly father figure to my master? Bobble has always been there for me. <laughs> when, Nick and Finn, when Susie left me, when, Su when Susie cheated on me, when I didn't have any friends in high school, when you and Dad got a divorce, you played all those sick mind games trying to win me over against one another. You know who was there for me? Not you, not Dad, not Bobby. It was. Bobble, Bobble was here for me. He loves me and I love him. I don't know what to say. You cannot talk to your mother that way. Fuck you, Bobble. Fuck you and your pro bass fishing hat. Come on, Bobble. Let's go get some, let's go get some tofu. Ah! Bazaar! Confections! <laughs>